We made our trip to New Zealand with Southern Hunting Safaris. It was a good trip. I want to share some information with you about that trip. All the planning that I did, all the packing that I'd done, I ran off and forgot the cards for my cameras, forgot batteries for my cameras. So didn't get a lot of footage. Everything I got was on my iPhone. So whenever you get ready to go, make you a list. Don't count on your memory because if it's like mine, it's not worth two cents. Make you a list and check your list two or three times so that way you have all your necessary equipment with you when you go. On the first day, I shot a nice stag. I, I practiced and I practiced at long ranges, but when the stag came in, I misjudged my distance. I shot him a little bit too close, about 15 yards. I thought he was about 22. Made a uh, not so good a hit, but we got on the trail the next morning and we found a stag. Bobby Kanye hunted three days for a big stag. His stag wouldn't come into his effective bow range. Uh, the stag stayed out there 62, 63 yards, and he felt comfortable shooting at 50 yards. And so he never did get that opportunity to get the big stag he wanted. He moved over into the area that I was hunting, and he got up on a stag at 42 yards and shot him a nice stag. Some of the other hunters that we had was uh, Bob Cook from Lake Jackson. He took a nice stag with a rifle. Another guy from Pennsylvania was Phil Seraph. He took a nice stag with a rifle. Two days later, uh, Phil and I went hunting for Arapawa sheep. I got one with my bow. Phil got one with his rifle. Then Phil wanted to go out for a fallow buck and asked me to go along with him. I went along with him and, and uh, we were out there stalking some nice fallow. We found one, 742 yards. Out of his effective shooting range with a rifle, he was shooting a seven millimeter mag. So he stalked up on his within 342 yards, made an excellent neck shot and bagged a nice fowler. Now, I couldn't get Phil to take the picture with me, but because I went with him and helped him, he let me <laughs> set in and take a picture of a fowler. That is not my fowler, that belongs to Phil. And we tried our hand at trout fishing. We didn't have any luck. We had to buy a license, $23 for a 24 hour permit. So when you go hunting and you uh, look for other things to do, there's always other opportunities, but you still have to practice at your effective yardage you have to be confident at that effective yardage and by all means take your checklist and make sure that all the items you want to bring are with you when you go on your hunting trip. I'm Dave Lenning, that's your archery tip of the week and we'll have you pumping blood.